I'm Michael KB9 VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community. If things like that interest you, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, check us out on Patreon. Patrons help keep the mission alive. That's at patreon.com slash KB9 VBR antennas. Well, this morning, uh, we're getting ready for a fox hunt. Uh, fox hunts, if you've seen a couple of my previous videos, is a popular amateur radio activity where you use a... A directional antenna and a radio receiver in order to find a hidden transmitter and that's what we're going to be doing this morning we're not going to find one but hopefully two transmitters uh, the objective of this morning's Fox is to first find the higher powered transmitter and that should bring you into the area where a very low power transmitter has been hidden so part of the Fox will be done uh, with the car and uh, part will be on foot. Uh, should be a real interesting morning. I'm just going to go through the uh, tools that I use in uh, fox hunting. And first off is the antenna. And of course um, this is um, a directional uh, Yagi antenna that's been made out of a uh, metal uh, tape measure. I've got a video on how you can build your own um, portable direction finding antenna. I'll put the link to that in the description down below. And along with this antenna, I have a device here called an attenuator. Uh, this is a series of resistors all in line and I can switch them off or on depending on how much I want to attenuate or knock down the signal. Because as you get closer to the transmitter, it's just going to overwhelm the receiver in your radio. So you're going to need to be able to um, just uh, quiet that signal down to a level where that you can see the um, the meter on your handheld radio. And that's the third component. That's a handheld radio. I'll be using a Yesu FT3DR handheld. I like this radio a lot for fox hunting because it's got a uh, very nice, easy to read uh, S meter. And I think that's important in um, in fox hunting or direction finding is to have is, is to have a signal strength meter that you can easily read out in the field. And then finally, this piece that um, um, a lot of people really, I, you know, I, I suppose some people use them, but <laughs> a lot of people don't. They kind of just play it by ear, but I like to use a map and, uh, and a compass. Uh, once I take a reading with my directional antenna, I can use the compass to plot that heading on this map and that drives me into the direction where I need to go. This works really good for the larger foxes. Uh, when you get to the uh, more um, smaller, the, 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 the smaller, the extremely low power foxes, either you need a very uh, detailed map or you gotta be to the point where you're just um, uh, sniffing around in a very um, well-defined area on where that fox is located. But um, this gives you, this uh, really speeds up the the hunting process. If you've got a good map and a compass so you can plot those uh, bearings and headings on the on the map. So uh, the fox hunt should start in a few minutes so uh, let's get ready to uh, hit the road and uh, find this morning's fox. I'm getting a very weak signal uh, from my home location. It's just due west, or just due west of here. So I think I'm going to drive a little bit. I'm not even going to mark it on the map at this point, um, but I'm just going to find a spot west of here and see if we can grab a uh, second uh, reading. That's that's a lot stronger. South. We're going to head south. The first reading I took at my house, I had 
primarily um, a bearing of west, but there was a lot of obstructions and whatnot, so that could have been a reflection or something somewhat. Uh, the second spot is a nice uh, open area alongside the river. And the river kind of goes north-south through the city of Wausau. And I was able to get a really good bearing uh, to the south. And I know a couple of parks on the south end of town that would probably be really good uh, candidates to hide a fox. Um, part of the... Uh, in fox hunts like this, usually the fox is always hidden on uh, a public property. So um, if you know where parks and other little um, way spots are that would be sort of um, somewhat public, you can um, kind of deduce where the fox might be. So I took a reading west of here, um, and it pointed, or east of here, and it pointed me west. So I moved west, and now it pointed me east. So we know it's between here and where I was. So I don't know if we either drive or uh, go on foot at this point. Park. I didn't find the fox at Radke Park, uh, but it's got to be in this vicinity. Um, just driving around a little bit, see if we can it's come up with a stronger signal. Huh? Michael, what? Here's the next clue. I haven't been listening to the clues. <gasps> oh. No wonder. <laughs> well, you're already here. I am close to five and far from two, three, yet close to three, one and far from one, three. Okay. <laughs> All right. going on foot. Hey. All right, we found her. We found her. Yeah, located it in the brush, airport, uh, Radke Park to the south of us, airport park to the north of us. There's the fox. And instructions. If you wish to continue to find the baby fox, please tune your radio to uh, 147470. I guess we'll find the baby fox now. But, uh, all right, that was a good one. That was a really good one. I'm gonna set my uh, second VFO to the um, third harmonic 442.41. That'll help me um, track it down when we get really close to the to the fox
straight ahead. We <laughs> rock in place. Second her third harmonic. Um in or around this trash bin. There it is. And there it is, underneath the deck. Well, we did it. We found the uh, second fox. It was located on uh, this little walking path underneath the deck for some steps. Uh, what I did was I set my uh, transceiver to the uh, third harmonic as we got in close. I wanted some, I mean, when you're on the third harmonic with no attenuation, you got to be like within about 10 feet away from it. So uh, when I got, uh, got down uh, to the path, uh, switched over to that third harmonic and um, that helped really hone in on it pretty quick. Well, this, but otherwise, this was a real fun fox hunt. Uh, the, took me a little bit longer. I didn't need any clues though, so um, <laughs> found it without any clues. Uh, but um, wasn't the first to find it this time. That's okay. Let somebody else hide it then next time. Well, that's it for this time. Uh, for more articles and information, be sure to check out my blog at www.jpole-antenna.com. Support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Like and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon. Uh, really helps a lot. Uh, but that's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9 VBR. Have a great day and 73.